The athlete should have both feet behind the baseline between the center march and the right sideline. The ball should be hit over the net diagonally into the service box. You want your dominant side hip to be pointing backwards and your other side pointing towards the court. This will help your aim. Take a step and throw the ball straight up. Notice how the athlete tosses the ball with their fingertips and not from their palm. If they were to do this, it would turn into a power drive and the ball would hit, be hit out of bounds. During the swing, the athlete twists the back foot like they are squishing a bug. When the athlete goes to hit the ball, their arm should be reached out straight in front of them and be about 155 degrees between the arm you're hitting with and your front foot. Now the athlete swings at the ball and follows through, bringing their arm to a 99 degree angle as if they are sneezing into their elbow. See how the athlete keeps their eyes on where the ball will be and tries to hit the ball with the middle of the racket. Looking at the cognitive learner's first attempt, it is noted that they should be standing behind the white line on the court and towards the right side. However, they are standing in the middle of the court. Their eyes are also following their hand instead of where the ball should be. They only threw the ball up one foot in the air instead of three. The ball is hit with the top of the racket instead of the middle. Notice how the cognitive learner has an 127 degree angle between their front foot and their hitting arm when it is supposed to be closer to 150 degrees. The bug is not squished with the back foot. The athlete didn't swing all the way through and let their arm drop. This athlete also dropped their arm to 180 degrees straight down instead of 100 degrees across their body. After a week of practice, the athlete is now standing behind the line, throwing with their fingertips. Their eyes are looking where the ball is instead of focusing on where the hand is, and the ball is hit with the middle of the racket. After practice, the athlete has an 144 degree angle between their front foot and their serving arm, when it's supposed to be around 150 degrees. Here, the athlete follows through, but with an 178 degree angle across their body instead of 100 degrees. After practice, the cognitive learner still does not quite squish the bug and lets their arm hang instead of bending their elbow.